Inkscape is a free program that you can download to use for graphic design. When you first launch it, the window is going to be blank and white after you install it. So let's go to File, Document Properties to set up some options before we get started. The first thing you'll want to do is set your default units to be inches, as we're going to be sewing in inches, that will be handy. Then, if we go to the Grids tab and enable our grids, and again, we want to be working in inches, if we set our spacing to be every quarter inch, or 0 0.25, and a major grid every two, that means that each line you see on the screen will be every one-half inch. Next, what we're going to do is take a look at some options on the far right-hand side. If you click that uh, icon down there, it will help objects snap to grids when you're working. Then we're going to import some images to work from. The first thing we're importing is our color palette that we will be designing with. Once it's imported, I generally drag things to make them of an appropriate size so that I can see what I'm working with. And again, go back to File and Import and grab some inspiration images. In this case, I have found a couple images online of swings. Uh, summertime makes me think of swinging uh, in the grass or along the beach, so I thought I'd get some rope swing pictures for inspiration for this particular block design. So let's grab these images and get them placed inside the file and positioned around the way we want. As you can see, as I'm dragging things around, there's a red X, and that's that Snap to Grid option that I selected. What just happened there is I left-clicked and selected around all the objects, and then I was able to drag them as a full unit. The next thing I will do is create a square that is the size of the block that I want. We're going to be making a 12 by 12 block. So I start at the 0, and I move over to 12 over and 12 down to make a 12-inch grid on my screen. That's something that I can then work and do my design space inside of. Because I'm going to be making a swing, uh, I'm going to be working with rectangular shapes, and I'm going to go back to the rectangular object selection, and I'm going to think about where I would like to place that within my block. So I'm going to move it two inches over from the left and three inches up from the bottom, and then make an inch high swing uh, that goes to two inches over from the right as well. Then, using the eyedropper tool, which selects the color, I can pick the color of the swing, and I'll make it pink from the color palette. Then, I'm going to throw in some grass underneath the swing. So I make another square, and this time I use the eyedropper to select the chartreuse, or green color, from the color palette. And then I want the swing to be in the sky, so I draw in another box, and this time color it with the lapis blue or uh, sky kind of color. Note that that then places the block on top of the swing. If you then click on the arrow, the selection button, you can see this tool. And if I lower it to the bottom selection, it puts it behind the original white block that I drew. I should have selected lower one level. So instead, we'll raise it one step, which puts it on top of the white but behind the swing. Next, we need the rope for the swing that holds it in space, so we'll draw another rectangle, and this time fill it in with white for the rope that holds the swing to the edge on either side. Once my design is complete, I can draw a box around the entire grid and go to File, Export PNG Image. First, you need to click the Export As button and browse to the location where you want to save your image and give it a file name. I'm going to call this the Summer Swing Block and save it here. The one thing that I would point out is that that's just giving it the name. You really need to click on that Export button to actually export the image. Uh, then I will save the actual Inkscape document itself uh, also calling it the Summer Swing Block, so that I can come back and modify the block in the future if I would like.